how do you start a spear company? I guess that's a good place to start. I was, uh, we talked about my wife. I'm very lucky. I had an extremely supportive wife who wanted me or still wants me to be happy and to pursue something that I love as opposed to working for other people and just sort of trudging along. Uh, so we were on vacation. She encouraged me to try and find something in audio to work on uh, that would be fun and interesting. I kind of racked my brain to come up with an idea uh, for something that would be truly innovative and different in the marketplace and uh, came up with the idea to do a 3D additive or 3D printed, so additive manufacturing speaker, which failed absolutely miserably. Uh, terrible, terrible idea. Uh, but found some other materials that were truly unique and we were able to bring something to market that was different uh, and special. And that's what we launched last year at Exponent. And you were, to connect the dots, you were an audiophile and into audio for years and years and years. This just wasn't a random uh, you know, thing that popped up. Now, when I was... 10. Uh, I remember going to the Stereo Advantage in Buffalo for the first time, uh, which was the first time I'd ever been in a real stereo shop. Prior to that, I'd been in Kmart. Uh, but I remember seeing Carver equipment with the rack mounts on the outside of it and seeing Infinity Kappa speakers and Renaissance speakers. They, were ama they had those amazing ribbons and the Carver ribbons uh, that were out back then. Just these awesome looking speakers. And then I remember hearing the sound and at 10 years old thinking, oh my God, that's amazing. And saved up every nickel I could. And when I was uh, 17, ended up getting my first real system, which was uh, a Carver and Infinity system at the time. And that was 25 years ago. Excellent. So, yeah, so most kids, uh, you know, sc scrape together their lawn mowing money and their first job money to buy a car. You bought a hi-fi system. I spent a hundred bucks on my first car. <laughs> right, exactly. Hey, we all have our priorities. And I, the, another thing that I think about in that little story is, you know, there's, there's a common, uh, you know, term in our industry, uh, wife acceptance factor, right? Wow. And, and it's usually in terms of uh, how something looks and, you know, whether the, our, our wives will, quote unquote, put up with it. But right. you know, I think it's worth telling the stories because I, I see them all the time that, yes, there are certainly those, uh, you know, audiophiles who, you know, don't necessarily have the support of their significant other in their hobby and, or, you know, and that's fine. You know, we can all have different hobbies, but there's certainly also many other people uh, in, that I've met, uh, my wife, uh, Daniela and, and your wife, uh, Laura included, that encourage us in these hobbies. And in some cases, like each of us, uh, you know, we make it into our profession. And so I think there are, it's a mis somewhat of a misconception that it's, uh, you know, the wives are just putting up with this audio stuff. Yeah, I've been, again, super lucky. She has extraordinary hearing and has been an enormous asset through the whole process. And part of it is I have to, I've got to kind of corral or get her focused and be like, all right, I need you to listen to stuff. But I'll tell you, I think probably nine times out of 10, she can pick out an MP3 versus a high-res file just instant like her hearing is so good she's been such an asset through the process and as a result that has helped her understand and it also helps that i make a small speaker that sits nicely in our living room and doesn't take up an enormous amount of space uh right it <laughs> does your speakers do have a the traditional white good wife acceptance yeah. factor yeah yeah but it's the, it, her being able, that, that, that kind of extraordinary hearing that she has has helped her understand why it means so much to me and what that, what, um, why it makes a difference. And sure. when she can hear the difference, like I, she would walk up the stairs and be like, this is a terrible sounding track. Why are you even playing it? Um, and not even be, not in the sweet spot, nowhere near it. And she's just, her hearing is that good that it's, and again, it's been super valuable because I think I make a better product because she's been involved. That's great. I think it's no mystery to any of us that our wives are more sensitive than us in, in many ways. And, and, you know, most of them good. Uh, yeah, my, my wife can pick out, you know, if someone waves a, a piece of basil over a dish, you know, she'll be able to, you know, tell that, you know, in the, fi in the final product, very sensitive, yeah. very highly tuned into things. So yeah, that's great to hear.